Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another meal prep. This one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm doing a nighttime meal prep session. Uh, today uh, was a really busy day. I was in the car for three hours. Um, it is now about 6.30, almost seven o'clock. And instead of just not meal prepping, which is really what I thought about doing, I decided, nope, we gotta suck it up buttercup and we are gonna do some meal prepping. And um, so this video is gonna be more like vlog style versus you know, showing you step-by-step -step of each meal. I, I don't have time to kind of move the camera around. So I'm just gonna take you with me as I go through the meal prep the same way that I'm actually doing it. So as I'm cooking one meal, we'll be cooking another and another. So that's just the way we're gonna do it today, just to kind of show you really how I do progress through these types of meal preps. So that being said, the first thing we're gonna do, I already have the oven preheating to 425. We are going to cook up a sheet pan meal. Um, what I'm going to do is some thin chicken breast. So I don't think I'm gonna use all of these. I'm gonna see how many are in here. I wanna do three meals of these. This will be lunches and dinners. Um, the spice I'm gonna use is some of this Cajun, McCormick Cajun spice for the chicken. Um, I'll add some onion salt on there as well. Then we have our broccoli, and then we have these fire roasted veggies that I get at Costco. So I'm just gonna put all of that on a sheet pan, throw it in the oven. So let's go ahead and um, go ahead and get our chicken out and we'll get all this prepped and ready to go in the oven and then we'll move on to our next meal. Now these veggies here are already seasoned. They um, are, and they just have red bell pepper, zucchini, yellow squash, red onions, broccoli, um, it's tossed in avocado oil, pink salt, black pepper, spices, and they're fire roasted. So I'm not gonna add any additional um, spices or oil to those, but we are to the broccoli and the chicken. So I probably did not need this big of a bag of broccoli. I think I'm gonna use about half of it. Yeah, I think that's good. We'll use about half of the broccoli. We're gonna do half of a tablespoon of avocado oil. Oh my God, this thing goes so slow. Hold on. Okay, half a tablespoon of, of, of avocado oil in there. And then we're gonna do some of the Cajun seasoning. And then we're gonna do some onion salt. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that. And then we'll pour that on the sheet pan. I know there's broccoli already in this other one, but I like broccoli is one of my favorite veggies. So I just wanted a little bit extra, extra broccoli. Now we'll go ahead and grab the chicken. I like using the thin sliced chicken breast. I just feel like it cooks faster because these veggies will take no time at all to cook. So we're just gonna give, I'm gonna grab a three of these chicken. Let me wash my hands. Okay, we're gonna go in again with a half a tablespoon of the oil. Some of the Cajun seasoning. And some onion salt. The Cajun seasoning really isn't super hot. It just has that kind of that Cajun flavoring to it. I don't know how else to really explain it. Um, I'm gonna have to <clears throat> add more on there because I didn't get all of it. And then we'll turn them over and get the other side. And get those on the sheet pan. My oven just went off, so it is nice and preheated. Here is our sheet pan. So this is going to go into a 425 degree oven. I'm going to start with 15 minutes. We'll check what the chicken looks like, but it should be done in those 15 minutes. And we're going to move on to our next meal that hopefully we can get done in those 15 minutes. Next up, we're going to do an Asian green bean meal prep. I don't even know what it's called. Asian, Asian ground turkey and green bean bowls, something like that. I've made these before. I'm not sure if this is the same recipe I've made before. I, it just popped up on my Pinterest page and it looks pretty familiar, but 
Um, I am going to change up a couple of things in it. Like this calls for sugar and honestly if I remember right one other recipe called for sugar and I did not enjoy it very much so I'm going to leave the sugar out. I'm also going to add in some Jeez, if I start coughing, I'm still sick. Um, but I'm gonna add in some chili paste because I think it just needs a little bit more flavor. So first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and put the green beans in the microwave. Um, this is a microwavable bag, but we will be throwing them in the skillet as well, but I just like to get a little bit um, of them started. So we're gonna put these in the microwave and then we'll put the rice and the cauliflower rice in the microwave. We'll be combining these two together to kind of cut down on the calories and carbs and all of that and just to add some more nutritional value with the cauliflower um, and then we'll grind up the ground turkey and but we're going to add in our sauce into the turkey and then we'll throw our green beans in there the original recipe does call for soy sauce but if you guys have been watching me for any amount of time you know i prefer to use liquid aminos <clears throat> i just have less issue with inflammation soy sauce instant instantly makes me get inflamed but for some reason Liquid aminos do not, even though they're also made out of soybeans. So I don't know. I have no idea why it works differently. Maybe somebody else knows. <laughs> I don't. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with two tablespoons of the liquid aminos. That's what the recipe calls for. It seems to not be enough to me, but we'll just go from there. And then we have this Thai sweet chili sauce. It comes in the smallest bottle ever, but this is the bottle that I could find. I also bought some other sweet chili sauce. Um, at Safeway that had a lot more calories at 70 calories. This only has 10 and I forgot that I had this in my refrigerator. So um, it looks like I'll have just enough of this. So I, need, I need four tablespoons. Oops. Oh my gosh, you guys see real life. Yep. I think I have exactly four tablespoons of this. So if I have to use some of the other, I will. I think I'll use the other more as a garnish. I think I'll use a couple, like maybe a tablespoon of it as a garnish with like my rice or something. And then I'm just gonna do just a little teaspoon of the um, chili paste. I just really like the taste of the chili paste. I think it just adds um, just a nice little spicy flavor to it. Okay, I'm just gonna whisk this up. We're gonna go ahead and grab our ground turkey. So this is 93% lean ground turkey. We're gonna grab this and go ahead and put it in the pan. And once it's mostly cooked through, I will add in the sauce and then the green beans should be done by then. Okay, ground turkey going in. I did spray a little bit of um, cooking spray on there just to help since this is, um, well, it's not super lean ground turkey, but still. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and get this cooked and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up what I've made a mess of so far so we can stay ahead of the game because like I said, it's kind of late for me. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get this cooked up and I'll show you when we get to the next step. Green beans are done, so we're gonna go ahead and throw the rice cauliflower in next. Alrighty, it's mostly cooked through, but before it gets all the way cooked through, I wanna put the sauce in there just so I can get Make sure the sauce kind of gets into the meat since ground turkey can be really um, kind of flavorless. So we're just going to add that in there. Then we'll see if we need to add any more of the liquid aminos um, <clears throat> before I add the green beans in. And then what I'm going to do is after I put the green beans in there, we're going to put the lid on there and let it caramelize a little bit because you can see like how thin this sauce is, but it will thicken up a little bit after I put the lid on there and just allow it to kind of cook through. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cooking this and then it's almost time, oh, now it's time for the rice to go in. So I'm just gonna put this rice in the microwave now and then we'll be mixing those two together. All right, let's go ahead and add in the green beans. All right, green beans are in. <clears throat> we have 23 seconds left on the timer for the oven. So perfect timing. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir and then I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit and just allow this sauce to caramelize. The rice is done. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Put the lid on there. There's my sheet pan. Got my meal prep containers out. Um, the chicken needs to cook a little bit longer, so I put it back in 
for 10 more minutes. I don't, it's, I don't know, I hopefully, I don't know, my meat thermometer is not working right because it just seems like it should be a little bit more dense because they were thin. But I don't know, I guess I have to just go by it and see what happens. Now normally I would, especially for like these Asian bowls, I would have added a little bit of seasoning to this rice, but because I'm thinking I may want to use it possibly for other meals, like maybe to put with some taco bowls because we're going to do some taco meat next, or with um, even that sheet pan meal. I might want to add rice to it. Um, so I'm just going to keep it plain, not add anything else in it, um, just because, I, like I said, I just want to keep it plain. I can always add seasoning later. So I'm just going to mix the two up here. I know it's not an exact measurement, but, um, you know, it's, I think it's pretty close where I could say it's 50% rice, 50% um, cauliflower rice. So that's how I'm going to measure it out. So that's ready to go. I went, up, went ahead and cut up some cilantro and green onion. We'll use the green onions on our... Um, our um, green bean taco uh, turkey bowls and then for my taco bowls and stuff like that later on in the week I'll be using the cilantro okay so our green beans and uh, turkey meat is done I'm gonna do a half of a cup of the rice cauliflower rice mixture so then essentially there'll be about a quarter cup of um, jasmine rice in the bowl And it leaves me with about that much left. So if I want to use it for a couple more meals this week, then we can. This will be the tricky part because it's really no way to measure out the exact amount of the uh, turkey meat. I should have used probably 99% lean, but it was just so much more in the store this week. I think it was like $7.99 this week at, at Walmart. And this one was only $3.97. So I just couldn't do it, you guys. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do the best I can with evenly doing um, a third into each bowl. Um, but we just gotta do the best we can, you guys. Right now, groceries are so expensive that, you know, sometimes having to sacrifice and eating a less leaner meat, we just have to do what we have to do. I mean, at least we're getting lots of good veggies in here with the cauliflower rice and the green beans. Now there's going to be some sauce in here, so I'm going to go ahead and pour that sauce into each one of these bowls. I'll finish them off by sprinkling some of the fresh green onion on there. It just adds kind of a little freshness to it. And then um, I may, when I have these, I may just add on like a teaspoon of the sweet chili sauce on top. But let me go ahead and show you close up what these look like. Here are our finished bowls. So I'll be having these for lunches and dinners this week. I will go ahead and put on the screen the points, calories, and I'll put the carb count because I've been having a lot of people um, tell me they've been appreciating that. So I will that add on that as well. Here is our sheet pan out of the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my meal prep containers and we'll get these put away. Okay, once again, I have three containers here. So again, this will be for lunches or dinners this week. And you guys know I usually like to try to mix it up a little bit more, but again, because I did not have a lot of time, I'm just gonna have to deal with eating some of the same meals this week. You guys know I like to typically more prep ingredients and different proteins that I can mix up in different ways. But like I said, I can with this too. I can add the rice to it. I could cut up the chicken and um, put it in a bowl with the veggies and then add some of that rice in there. I think I even have more rice and more cauliflower rice. Um, I have more cauliflower rice, I do know, in the freezer. And then pretty sure I have another packet of whole grain brown rice in the pantry. So if I didn't have enough rice to do that, so I could definitely uh, mix it up one day and have it a little bit different but some days like I said I just I really after being sick 
um, for so long. You guys, I did not plan on being sick this long and I've never, this is the first time I've ever had COVID and just being sick that long, I um, need, I just need to get back to eating regular meals. I have not had any appetite during this whole time. So I'm just so excited just to get back to eating. And these actually look really good, <laughs> really, really good. So here is our sheet pan chicken. And again, I'll put all the stats up here on the screen. Last thing I'm gonna do is do some ground chicken with some taco seasoning. I'm also gonna make some hard boiled eggs. I waited to do the hard boiled eggs until I was making this because I have forgotten about the eggs before and that way I don't overcook them. So this way I'm not distracted by other meals. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cook this up, make the eggs, and then I need to get all of this stuff all this stuff cleaned up while those are cooking. For the eggs, um, I do the 555 method. So this is my um, Instant Pot. So what I'll do is I'll put it on five minutes for steam, and then I'll let it natural release for five minutes, and then I'll put them in a cold water bath for at least five minutes. And that's how I do my hard boiled eggs. They come out perfect every single time. A minute of natural release left on the eggs. All my dishes that I use to meal prep are clean. My sink is clean. I even unloaded the dishwasher. And then we have our um, taco meat right there. And there's all of our meal prep. So please excuse the red sweaty face, but I have been running around like crazy. So I went ahead and I unloaded the dishwasher and got all the dishes clean. So instead of putting them in the dishwasher, I just went and hand washed them all. That way we're starting the week off with a fresh, clean dishwasher. Um, I just need to um, wait for the eggs and then we will be ready to go. Um, but I'm so glad that I have about 10 meals here so that is lunch and dinner every day this next week so that makes me very very happy that I have all these meals and like I said even though I'm gonna be eating kind of the same meals but at least with the taco meat I can mix it up some different ways add some rice to the other meals but I think I'm just extremely happy to just get done it took me about 45 minutes from start to finish that does include the cleanup so not bad at all and just think I was not going to meal prep at all and I probably would have been very sorry that I did not. So I am just glad that I went ahead and took the time to do it even though it's late. But now I'm gonna go ahead and go put my pajamas on and I am gonna fold some laundry and that's about it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.